Today we'll be exploring the Dell PowerEdge R740 and discussing how to integrate multiple GPUs into the system for AI applications. The front of the server features an information LED on the left ear. This specific model is equipped with an 8-slot 3.5-inch backplane, which is typically a standard configuration. On the right side, in the upper right corner, you'll find a power button, an SVGA port, a pair of USB 3 ports, and a console port. Now, let's shift our attention to the rear of the system. Let's take a look at the rear view of the server. Beginning from the lower left corner, we have an information LED light, followed by an iDRAC port, a serial port, an SVGA port, two USB ports, and a Dell Network daughter card. This specific Dell Network daughter card is equipped with two SFP Plus ports and two RJ45 gigabit ports. The system features multiple expansion ports and three risers. It's powered by two hot plug power supplies, each rated at 1600 watts, which are due for an upgrade. Please note that these power supplies will only deliver 800 watts when operating at 110 volts. We've removed the cover to delve into the system's internals. This specific model features an 8-slot, 3.5-inch backplane and is cooled by six fans. It's equipped with two heat sinks and 24 memory modules. Our upgrade plan includes the installation of high-frequency gold CPUs and 256 gigabytes of memory. Additionally, we'll be integrating two NVIDIA Tesla GPUs to enhance its AI capabilities. Interestingly, this system comes with a PCIe RAID card, which is somewhat uncommon as most Dell R740 models have a mini card installed to conserve PCIe ports. Now, let's proceed to examine the components we'll be installing. Our installation will include high-frequency Intel Xeon Gold CPUs 6154. Each of these CPUs boasts 18 cores and operates at a speed of 3.0 GHz. They are particularly well-suited for artificial intelligence applications or virtual machines that demand immediate response times. We'll be incorporating eight modules of 32 gigabytes each, summing up to a total of 256 gigabytes. This might seem excessive for this application, but it ensures optimal performance. The memory used is DDR4 error correcting registered memory. It's important to note that shorter heat sinks will be necessary to ensure adequate airflow for cooling the NVIDIA Tesla cards, as they lack built in fans. Having installed the CPUs and memory, we'll now examine the additional components necessary for the installation of two Tesla GPUs. It's worth noting that most GPUs and rack servers lack their own fans and rely on the system's fans for cooling. In our scenario, we'll be utilizing NVIDIA Tesla V100 GPUs, which also do not have built-in fans. A specific air baffle will be required to direct airflow towards the GPUs, along with two power cables to supply power to the GPUs. Depending on the specific model of your R740, a riser with a GPU power port may also be necessary. All system components have now been installed. Please take note of the wiring setup for the GPUs. One of the video cards is powered directly from the motherboard, while the other draws power from a riser. Observe how the cards have been positioned and how the airflow is directed through the video cards. With that done, we'll now secure the air baffle and proceed to power up the system. We're receiving a static power error message, indicating that our current power supply is insufficient, suggesting that an upgrade to the power supplies may be necessary. It appears that we have the option to proceed by pressing F1, but doing so leads to a system crash during the boot process. We've acquired power supplies with a higher wattage rating. Each of these power supplies is rated at 2,000 watts, but they only deliver 1,000 watts when operating at 110 volts. It's important to note that these power supplies require a different type of plug, so you'll need to use different power cables. At last, we've managed to boot up the system. However, it was unable to boot with two GPUs due to insufficient power even after upgrading the power supplies when running on 110 volts. It appears that the system requires about 1500 watts, necessitating a 3000 watt power supply or a 220 volt power source. We plan to conduct multiple benchmarks, but regrettably, we'll have to proceed with just a single Tesla GPU. We've successfully installed Windows Server 2022 and updated all firmware. For guidance on this process, feel free to refer to our other videos. 
we opted to conduct two distinct benchmarks, the Blackmagic raw speed test and the Cinebench benchmark. The results from the Blackmagic test revealed that despite having two high-frequency multi-core CPUs, the system's 8K video editing capabilities were not optimal. However, a single Tesla V100 GPU was able to handle 8K video editing with ease. The Cinebench benchmark echoed these findings, demonstrating that a single Tesla GPU outperforms dual gold Xeon CPUs in tasks related to video editing and artificial intelligence. If this topic interests you, we invite you to watch our other video featuring a system equipped with three RTX 6000 GPUs. Built an empire of stars.